one and only <laughs> Buffalo bred Jessie Galante. For those of you who remember, back in the 80s, she was the front woman for the band Actor. Jessie, welcome to Backstage Access. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit what you've been up to since uh, you, know, you left Actor in the late 80s. They uh, kind of disbanded. and We disbanded, broke up, and I left um, Buffalo around 85. Yeah, and I moved to L.A. Okay. And it's been tra I've been traveling since then. I haven't stopped. <laughs> And tell us a little bit about your experience in L.A. I know there was some some high points and some some not so good ones. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I, I have a, a love-hate relationship with my experience in L.A., but it was a good experience because um, I real, you know, you toughen up really quick, you know, with the experience with the band. It was a rough band. Um, it was a very successful band. And um, I learned a lot. I worked with a lot of great people. Michael Wagner, the producer, I was introduced by him uh, and he produced a, a demo that actually made it to Europe on radio stations, and and that's how things really started popping for me. But but the band broke up. I felt it was intolerable to be uh, in L.A. after that. I was just so upset and disappointed, and uh, and uh, my relationship with the manager was just it was over. You know, it was just very bad. And uh, so I just moved. I jumped on a bus and I, I came back home. You know, I needed to come back home and regroup and decide what I was going to do. But that's when I did decide to go solo and work on my first record. So the first record that I did release was a solo record uh, uh, called uh, Jezoa, which is my, my real name. Mm -hmm. G E S U A, and that's Italian for those of you that might not. That's, know. that's Sicilian, <laughs> and um, and that's how it's. That's pretty much what happened. You know, it was just a bad scene for me in L A. It was just because I I didn't uh, with the with all the publicity and where we were going with the band. It just uh, they just wanted to go harder and they wanted a guy singer and we were just really on the top of our game and it, it's it's at that top of the game where it just started to crumble and it was just a very very confusing mess and the and the the manager uh, who at that time who managed us he was a great manager he put thousands of dollars into the band and we really were making a lot of noise and he just had it he was just tired of babysitting the guys and he just said I'm done I'm sorry and not only am I done I'm leaving LA too so he left too he just you know like I said he spent thousands of dollars and he was just you know a, he was burned out so that's it was too bad but it was okay because for me as an artist as that's where I started developing my songwriting that's where I started to just get it all out so the first album the solo album was pretty much my experience in LA okay. to get it out okay. and then you came back to Buffalo for a I while came, I came when I left LA uh, actually before I, I left LA I started writing for the solo record you know I had to pull myself together you know organize myself to leave and uh, as I was leaving I started uh, started already writing the record and um, then I came here and started pulling musicians together working on uh, the songs I actually hid myself I was I was a recluse for a while and I just started writing I just whatever you know during that time in between that time I met Larry Swiss through Donnie Tomasulo who was friends with Donnie T who everybody knows Donnie T and um, he introduced me to uh, Larry Swiss and because I needed somebody to help me produce the record and I was having a tough time uh, with the songwriting as far as really spilling my guts because I just wasn't used to really letting things out so easily, especially in, in the, for everybody to hear, for the public to hear. And he just said, just let it out. Just You'll feel much better, and it'll be very interesting. <laughs> and I said, well, I don't know. It's pretty dark. <laughs> and he said, well, people like dark. <laughs> and I said, okay, well, all right. That's what I did. And, and I'm still proud of it. I mean, we didn't promote the record. It just kind of was, I think it was more of a record that I did for myself. Mm -hmm. And um, I still think it's a great record. I think it's going to be like a phoenix rising at some point. It's going to come up and really, you know, uh, make some, I don't know, some people will like it. But um, right now it's in storage. The CDs are in storage <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> Well, Jessie had a lot of success when she did move to Europe. Now, you were living in Holland for, uh, for quite a while? We lived in, in Holland for nine months um, in Maastricht, which is the most southern part of, of Holland. 
and we lived there for nine months and we were playing. I met musicians. We started writing together and uh, we we just decided let's go to Europe and, and let's tour Europe. So we sold all our, be- you know, our belongings, the, the things we didn't want to sell, we put them in storage. <laughs> and we just said, let's go. And we spent nine months um, in Europe and we just loved it because not only did we uh, perform and uh, plan ourselves in Holland but we moved on into Germany we also spent time in Belgium we, we went to France I mean we just played and rode in different parts of Europe Europe which was really I mean an experience I'll, I'll never I'll never forget mm-hmm. you know and it was it was a healing too because we really wanted to it was at a point where I was just like really a little frustrated and I just wanted to get out and uh, I always had in the back of my mind to go to Europe and, and perform. And we just made it happen. Yeah. You know, you don't need a record deal. You don't need uh, a lot of money. You know, you don't need, uh, it, it's totally possible. Tickets were cheap. <laughs> we found a place to live that was cheap. And uh, we just crashed in, in Holland. It was awesome. Cool. It was it was really fun. Cool. Really good time. And then you developed quite a fan base while Big you were time. there. And... Really, really. It was very nice. I mean, we established some friends in Europe from the States. And we we spent time with them and through that uh we started performing it was easy to get gigs you know all i had to do was pick up the phone uh we'd like to play at your club (laughs) okay how much money (laughs) and uh and uh it was it was great really and uh, it's it's we have a very uh, a nice fan base in in holland and in germany and belgium and now budapest and and hungary which i've been playing in hungary for the last couple years it's turned out great 